This is a video about Chinese cooking. Now, what makes a great Chinese dish? What is the minimum requirement for something tasting, looking, and smelling great? We actually have an expression, or rather a rule, called guo cai wu pin, which refers to the five key concepts of what really makes a dish great. And those five things are se, xiang, wei, yi, xing. Let's break that down. Number one, se. This refers to a color of a dish. Think back to all those things that you've had at a Chinese restaurant. Everything is super colorful. If anything, you know, if the dish is primarily brown or red, there will always be a green bit of garnish. That kind of color and that kind of display is the core to Chinese cooking. Number two, xiang. The smell of any dish is what makes you drool for it, but this particular notion of smell is so key to Chinese cooking, and that's why a lot of dishes right at the end will incorporate some sesame oil or some flavored oils to really bring out the smell. And again, that's why we see a lot of peppers, we see a lot of cumin, we see a lot of coriander used in Chinese dishes to really bring out the element of smell. Number three, wei which means taste. Of course, a good dish has to taste great, but any good Chinese chef is always thinking about how do we intensify and make a flavor even deeper. Number four, yi. This refers to meaning. Now, I think this is quite unique to Chinese dishes. I'm sure there's tons of dishes with great stories, but in Chinese cuisines, we particularly like to have kind of an auspicious meaning to a dish or a great sounding name. The name of the dish or the meaning that it represents is just as important as how it tastes, smells, and looks. That's why you'll see a lot of dragons, jades, um, silver, gold, all these kind of great auspicious words in the names of dishes. And that's why sometimes when going to a Chinese restaurant, when you first start learning Chinese, can be quite intimidating because none of the dishes make any sense. But I guess the key take home here is that the theater of it, the meaning of it is just as important as anything else. Finally, xing, which means shape or presentation. What I love about a lot of Chinese dishes, even when they're home cooked, is the presentation. You will see my aunties and uncles pour so much effort into how things are plated. And that's why you actually see a lot of fish heads, chicken heads, pig heads even sometimes in a lot of dishes. It's to really add that kind of drama to a dish. So next time you're cooking your Chinese meal, even if it's just a stir fry, I want you to think of those five words. Se, xiang, wei, yi, xing. And if you get all five of those, you are on your way to cooking a great Chinese dish. And finally, I wanted to add a sneaky little extra one, which I think is very important um, while it doesn't classify in the guo cai wu ping, is actually the character yang. Yang meaning nutrition or medicinal. A lot of Chinese dishes will incorporate elements of Chinese medicine or what's conceived to have high nutritional value. That's why even let's say in a hot pot base or in a soup, you'll see goji berries or tons of different bits of berries or roots added to a broth or a dish to really enhance that nutritional value and make it even better for the person that's eating it. So this video is to give you some of the key concepts to Chinese cooking. Stay tuned for more videos on this topic. Good cooking and don't forget, remember? Se, xiang, wei, yi, xing. I'll see you at the next video. Oh, of course, go check out Skirtadot for more content and subscribe to this channel if you like what we do. Bye, 再见.